What's going on Salt Strong Nation? We're out here on a great fall day. We've got some redfish and some trout on this flat right here and I wanted to share a quick tip with you guys that's going to help you get onto more fish and that's really where you'll want to be fishing as it starts to get a little bit cooler. I'm really going to be talking about the number one spot for you guys to go and catch a lot of redfish and trout at in the fall. So as you guys can see, we're fishing a really nice island right over here, right off the edge of a flat. We've got a lot of seagrass around us, tons of potholes as you guys are seeing in the drone footage. And what we're finding is these fish aren't holding in super shallow water. They're not holding in random pockets on the open flats what they are using is depth highways and we've talked about this a lot with the redfish highways video that Joe did with Captain Peter Deeks a little while back and we're seeing something similar happen again there's a small depth change that occurs off the shoreline probably about 50 60 yards and what we're doing is fishing that depth change coming out of the shallows it's very likely that fish are going to feed up there really early in the morning or late in the evening but for the most of the day they're going to be hanging out in that depth change so if you're not out right at sunrise or right at sunrise sunset, your efforts should really be focused on small depth changes. And those are those cuts or trenches, as I like to call them, coming off of these shorelines. And you're going to find these coming off of intercoastals. Uh, you'll find them in creek bends, any kind of small depth highways that fish can use to have really good depth changes, stable temperatures, uh, and can hold there and have easy access to food as well. We've seen a lot of mullet that have been using these depth highways as well. And those redfish have been picking at them. And our presentations have really been focused along the edges. And again, all we're doing is that uh, retrieve that I talked about the last couple videos uh, as I've been out here. And that's really just focusing on a more vertical presentation as you get over this depth change and that's really where you want to be fishing you're not going to be doing just a straight constant retrieve because this small highway that i'm talking about is only about probably 10 15 feet wide so if you just roll that paddle tail really quickly you're going to pass through that area really fast so using a twitch twitch pause and allowing that lure to settle back down is going to give you a little bit more time in that depth highway and very much more likely that those fish are going to find it and as you guys have been seeing on the drone footage that i've been showing these fish aren't really super active they're not jumping around, chasing after bait. They're more focused on staying locked down in an ambush zone, especially the trout. They're really locked down in the middle of the potholes. We'll see a lot of the redfish focused more on the perimeter edges, and they're gonna run small circles around a pothole or the edge of that, uh, that depth highway. But the trout are really focused on any kind of ambush zone that they can find in that depth highway. And again, that could be a pothole, the edge of a grass flat. You're gonna find them just stationed up, ready to ambush that bait as it passes by over their heads. And I know this all sounds Sounds really nice in theory and I'm sure you guys are wanting to see it in action. So let's take a quick clip from earlier this morning and show you guys exactly what was happening out here. There we go. Did you get him? Yep. Go yep. Hey. Yep, that one was sitting right in that trench, man. That's where all these fish go. They go to these deep holes that are right off the shoreline because they like feeding shallow. Just sitting right in the trench, right off the shoreline. These fish, they, they get deep, close to shallow water feeding opportunities when they can. Good one. All right, guys, so you've seen it in action. We've got some great drone footage we've shown you today to give you an example of where these fish are gonna be holding. You know what you need to get out and do. And even if you aren't fishing clear water, you can look on Google Maps and still see those depth changes and know where you need to target. That's a big thing that I hear from our insiders that are in the Carolinas or in Georgia, uh, that they have issues finding these depth changes. All you really need to do is see that color change. It's really important that you have something on your boat that's gonna allow you to get higher, whether that's a cooler or a raised deck platform, something that's gonna allow you to get up. If you're fishing in a kayak, just standing up in the kayak alone is gonna to help to see exactly where that color change is, see where that water gets a little bit more difficult to see to the bottom, and that's where you know that depth is gonna drop off, and that's where those fish are gonna congregate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip, and if you wanna see more awesome fishing information, I highly recommend you join us at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're gonna help you catch more redfish, more sea trout, more snook, and more flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee we're gonna help you save time and money while helping you catch more fish. We do this with our premium education, our private insider club, and the best discounts on all the saltwater fishing tackle you need. So please join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club, and we're looking forward to having you in the family soon.